Okay, uh, hello and welcome to my playthrough of LSD Dream Emulator. Um, it's a very strange game. It was uh, originally released in Japan in 1998. Um, since then it has developed uh, quite an interesting cult following in both the United States and Japan. Um, largely uh, as a result of its exceedingly strange and at times downright terrifying content. Um, anyway, uh, we'll just have to delve deeper into this and uh, you'll see what I mean. Enjoy! I'm just going to show you, well, you kind of get an idea of what this game's like after watching this. I'm going to be quiet and just let you watch. Yeah, if you feel like you've been totally brain screwed after watching that, um, you're not alone. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to start a new game. I've been to like day 15, I think, in the other file I have, but I just want to start over so I can show you guys from the beginning. Ugh, freaking tired, man. This thing took forever to download. Finally had it squared away around uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> then of course I wanted to play around with it a little bit. Uh, this is a pretty weird game, like uh, basically you just kind of walk around in all these random uh, dreamscapes, I guess. It's strange uh, environments with randomly placed objects and creatures and things like that that don't really make any coherent sense whatsoever, and uh, I don't really, I haven't really figured out an overall objective to the game other than just to walk around and experience all the weird shit it has to offer. Um, like, uh, yeah, so, like seriously, what the hell? pretty much never know when you're, like, if you step on something or run into something, if you're going to teleport, sometimes you just, like, end up teleporting from place to place when you don't really even do anything except for, like, walk around too long in a certain area. I don't really, I, I I'm just kind of, uh, getting to the point where I'm beginning to understand that there really aren't a whole lot of rules. This whole game's just, like, totally freaking random. I, I mean, there are a few few elements of uh, um, coherent thought, <laughs> yeah, but it's mostly in the, mostly has to do with the, uh, the menus and the consistent things like, you know, the idea that if you touch a specific object that's protruding from a wall in a certain way, you, you're almost guaranteed to teleport, but then again, you know, that's not even really guaranteed, so I'm going to stop talking and just play this thing. Uh, whoa. Well, this is new. I've never made it to this room before. What the hell? Is that a bar?
What the hell? Oh, that's weird. What the fuck? Is that a phase? In like bloody hands? Well, okay, I guess the dream's over already. That's sketchy as hell. Um, anyway, this little graph here, I guess it kind of shows, like, the nature of the dreams that you're having. The uh, uppers are obviously positive or, well, not scary, but still strange things. Um, the downers can range from, like, um, unsettling to terrifying. Um... Apparently, if you idle in the menu long enough, um, you get thrown into a CGI dream sequence. Seeing uh, that for some reason actually counted as a dream, I guess. But um, anyway, uh, so you just kind of move like up and down on this. So I'm not sure what the what the uh, I mean. I know what the difference is between static and dynamic, but I I'm not sure how it actually affects your dreams in this game. But there, as you can see, there's like a, a left and a right side to the graph as well. So. I guess we're just gonna have to play in uh, our conclusions from what we experience. Okay. I can't read that. <laughs> Wish I could, but I can't. That really kind of that count as a dream. Wow, so I, I guess that's what happens if you have like a dream right like dead center. Huh. Shit. that jump out at me like that. Alright, I've seen this before. What the hell? Like... I just... I don't understand. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a pink elephant. I thought it was a pig at first. I, I really... I don't get it. Um, yeah, by the way, uh, this might be a good time to tell you if you... Uh, jump off a cliff, or fall off a cliff, or die in some way your dream ends immediately, so in case you're like experiencing something that you can't handle, <laughs> that might be a good way to get out of it. screen before. Oh, 
shit. I've been in a place like this before. Not this place, but... There's always sketchy shit that happens in places like this. Is that a plane? Whoa. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. I'm freaking like like tempts you to think that things are funny and then sometimes they turn into something terrifying really fast like the second they make you think it's funny or like the moment something makes you smile it'll jump the shit out of you uh, apparently that wasn't the case with that one like depriving me of sleep. Insanity. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! You gotta be fucking kidding me. That woke me up. <laughs> what the hell?
my the most unique dream I've had in a while. This game, I mean. strange. Okay. Made it to day six so far. Guess I'm doing good. Face edges, damn it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the tunnel out of here. Whoa, that's weird. Seriously?
that was supposed supposedly an upper. Are you kidding me? That's pretty close to the middle. I had a downer one time that was like three from the bottom. It was fucking terrifying. There were like um, women uh, hanging from nooses off of a light post that were just like showing up at random in the street. And there was like this weird demon thing chasing me everywhere I went. And I, I was, uh, it still like wasn't the worst it could get. I don't want to know how dark this game will get to be honest. Oh shit! What? Did he have a gun? That was weird. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto drive by. <laughs> Damn. Friggin' tower. I wonder if it's different this time. Wow. That's weird. I don't normally return to the same place. like right in the middle for some reason this time. I was all over the board last time I played this. Alright, well that's about all I've got for you right now. I really hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you enjoyed the video. <laughs> um, and I will see you next time when I take on days 11 through 20.